Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 2 of The Princess of Snow and Blood. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I was not expecting this to come out today. I was expecting this to come out next week, but they was like, nope. I wonder if they're going to continue it with, like, what's-her-face getting ready to kill Yuki? Really? I thought we would hear, um, what's her face maybe possibly like rap in this song. Well, maybe in like, what, the longer version? Because I'm guessing the full version hasn't come out yet for this song. Right. <laughs> but hey, what if the traitor's Hana? You ain't kill her, little girl, did you? I mean, I don't think she did. Oh, yeah, because there she is. I mean, I understand Hana not liking Yuki, but it's, it's Shota Aoi's character not liking her either? Y'all was like friends last week! What the heck happened? <laughs> so we don't bleed red blood we bleed bluish purple blood So ever since then you want a revenge against that person. Hmm. 
Of course. Oh. I mean, okay. So I'm glad that we're getting the story on Yuki, but then it also makes you wonder uh, with Hana and um, Shota Aoi's character, are we going to get backstories on them? And also this dude, like, what is his issue? Oh, damn. So, of course, she had to train every day just for the, you know, for her and the bird to merge with each other. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, no, there's your blood, Freddy. So even though you didn't write in it, you just have memories. Hmm? Where are you going though? Wait! Something about that was a little weird. (laughs) 
somewhere safe. Well, it's better than being here. You might die. How much do you know? I mean, it's just she has a vast memory. Well, dang. Because you know so much. Okay, um, why are you giving it to Asi? <laughs> you want her to kill Yuki? What? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, 
Oh, look, she stopped you. It wouldn't surprise me if this series ends with her getting killed by her. I mean, it's the only way that, like, both of these two will be able to move on with the things that they've struggled with. Okay, see, Suki, you kind of sound like cutthroat from Makudama Drive, but... I, okay, you do you. Love, hate, whatever. I mean, sir. Yeah, because, you know, you're a little sus. There's always something. There's always a fucking loophole. If you don't tell someone, mm, they're gonna get killed. And so anytime if you fuck up, She's going to do everything in her power. I mean, because that's Yuki. It really doesn't matter who stands in her way. She can't just get on a boat with you. Hold up. I mean, seriously, you gonna leave Elena? Yeah, I know you and Elena and Suki, y'all ain't got the best relationship, but damn. Aw, shit. Oh, Elena! Anna! See, it also makes you wonder, can Hana and Suki, can they do the same thing as Yuki as well? I mean, you know what I mean? Because, you know, you got the girl at the end of episode one that they also talked about in this episode, but it makes you wonder, like, can anyone else in her group do it as well? Mm. 
God, she's so pretty with her hair on. Because she knew too much. And it's like always, once you know too much, you're dead. That's it. Okay, I still like Hannah, no matter what. She's still best girl to me. I don't care. But yeah, I'm a little, mm-mm. Hannah, what the fuck is your story, bitch? Like, mm-mm. Something about her is not trustworthy. She just went and just killed her out of nowhere for no freaking reason. But yeah, because of the fact is like she is a traitor. Oh, go ahead and kill her. That's it. I, I mean, you know, this is good. I'm so cute, confused about what the fuck all happened in this damn episode because, um, it seems new. Anyway, they're they're the good guys, but at the same time, they're also the bad guys in this story. Yuki is just the type of girl who is here to be here. She just wants to find the person who killed her family and op revenge on it. Um, Suki or Aoi Yuki, I'm not Aoi Yuki. Shota Aoi's character um, hates her, and it seems like Hana also hates her as well. It makes you wonder why. What did she do? For both of these two characters to hate her, is it just the way she looks at them? Because, you know, I get that too with, like, my facial expressions. And when I look at someone and I make weird faces and I'm like, you know, first impressions are everything. And then that's how, like, you don't like someone for some weird reason or whatever. But I got a lot of questions on this. I mean, um, whatever folks you about. But <coughs> I hate when I do that with my throat. Jesus. Um... Like I said, if Asahi does kill her, which she tried to in the episode, it's not gonna, she's not gonna probably try again until like the finale. I think that once Yuki finds out who killed her parents, when she kills him, the best way for her to immediately move on and part from this and start anew is for Asahi to kill her. Because of the fact is the connection of Asahi and Yuki is that Yuki killed her family for, you know, her own reasons with Nue. So in order for her to come to terms and, you know, be able to possibly either go to heaven or hell, who knows, um, with everything that she's currently doing now, it would be like, okay, yeah, when you are older, here's the reason why I'm, like, setting you up. So I'm going to raise you until you are of age, and then when you are of age, you're going to kill me. And this is going to start a chapter for both me and you. Because it's establishing that, yes, this is their relationship between the two. But who knows what else um, Asahi might plan. Even though they are like the cutest little adorable kind of brother, um, not brother, sister, uh, sister duo. Even though they are not uh, related by blood and everything. But they are their only uh, family that they have left for each other. Even though um, Yuki has... Uh, Hana and uh, <laughs> Sylvia, what's to say? Even though the other two are feeling a little type of way of her, but honestly, come here, puppy. Um, honestly, who knows what the heck is gonna happen next? I mean, I'm not surprised that you know Hana killed the chick and saying, "Oh, hey, your son's also dead." You know, he he probably was maybe dead for a while now, and she was just still like mm, living on that, you know hope despair ish I'm like oh no he's still alive I'm gonna see my son again and so you know Han was like huh, no your son yoked <laughs> like he's already gone and you're gonna join him in a couple of minutes but if these two are Cody Jesus if these two were about to fight next week um this dog <laughs> Oh, there's just to get up there. If these two are going to fight next week, which it seems like it is, 
Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Hana either dies or she just gets hurt to the point where we don't see her for the next few episodes where she's just like kind of resting or healing herself up so the next time when she sees Yuki again I don't know if this is gonna establish a better relationship for these two because the way it ends is a little like what the heck <laughs> it's such, but honestly this is a really good show I just want to know what is gonna happen with these two and how this outcome is gonna end and then what the heck is gonna happen for both Yuki and Hana and their own stories particularly so hopefully next week we do get like a Hana cent centered episode and her backstory because I really want to know a little bit more about her so hope and pray that happens but other than that guys that is my reaction to towards episode 2 of the Princess of Snow and Blood it <clears throat> if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the Master Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 3 bye guys